All right, so on this one, we're gonna go through string through options, where you can see this one is on that, or they call them top load or through the bridge or whatever, where it would go through those holes, which clearly it's not doing. And what is the difference, if any, well, there is a difference because they're two totally different places, but what are the benefits or the cons and all that stuff? Um, it is all subjective, um, what I'm gonna say, and I will admit, thoroughly that it's a placebo effect on me at least um what i mean is when i have it through the sh through the body which i prefer typically um i feel like there's less like floppiness on the strings and stuff like that so i just play tighter naturally um, without thinking about it it's kind of a uh, like a placebo i just instantly when i'm writing whenever i'm playing something it just makes me play a lot um more controlled and I do know that that's the reason, like placebo meaning like a sugar pill, it's not really doing anything, but it changes my mentality. And uh, I know we all like to think like, oh, I have this logical brain and I could fucking hack that and whatever. I can't, I just lean into it and go with it. So when I'm going string through, I'm playing um, a lot more, especially if I'm gonna do like more funk, like or... That kind of thing it's really tight for me and punchy and i just get that um vibe or <laughs> vibes man but that's really what it works for me so uh aside from that though the technical aspect of it you can see when it goes through the string and i have one that's through the bridge i'm gonna break that out in a second but you can see when it goes um through the string through the body it's a hard angle there if it's coming through the bridge it's going to be much more um obtuse <laughs> is that the right term where it's going to go straight in through here so what that can leave is for the strings to flop more and to hit the pickups which is fine you can still get it when it's through the body but it'll hit more on that so that whole thing or sabbath like granted it's through the body and i'm playing hard and i get the same effect so now, let me, my amp is way up here. I'm gonna turn this off and switch over so you can hear what it sounds like. I have a Warwick that only goes through the bridge. It's a um, Corvette Proline from 2003 or something like that. And I have, it's an active bass, but I have the knob pulled up. So it's set to passive. Um, you're gonna, and this is a big one too, because this is a passive bass. Sounds totally different because of pickups and tone wood. I swear by that. That's another one people will give you shit about. There's no study that tone wood is different. But if you listen to the basses, very like, much more articulate to me, more clear, punchy. And that is with passive. This is pulled up, so it's going to overload now because it'll be on active. But that's active. Passive. So if you want to scroll and listen back to the differences to the P bass, it's um, night and day. Like, I'll take the blindfold challenge any day of the week, and you'll be able to know which one's the Fender P bass and which one is the Warwick P bass, uh, or P bass setting, because it's just playing passive right now. The EQ isn't on, it's just going back and forth with both pickups on. But you can see this bridge, it's straight through there. That's it. There's not even an option on the back, and it sounds absolutely amazing a lot of it has to do and there's other variables right so it's never just well you string it through this way it's going to sound that way not really it has to do with um string height intonation meaning i'll do a video on intonation meaning does it stay in tune ultimately um how far everything is away from each other and is everything relative and is it all working together in one cohesive unit i've heard that going through the body also is better for sustain um, I've never done the test and just held a note out the entire time, but this one is through the bridge and it's still going, no problem. And I barely hit that thing and there's no compression or anything on this right now, which would add it for a little more because compression brings up the low signal and brings down the high. Um, yeah, I'm going to keep watching these back and go through for uh, topics because I feel like there's stuff that's so blatantly in front of us that we rarely ever talk about or have um, explained or really not even a deep dive, just become a topic of a video. So that's all I got for today. Let me know in the comments which one you prefer and why, because I love reading it and it's not just me looking for that. Um, if anyone clicked on this video, they're, they're looking for those answers. 
So please uh, comment below for all that stuff. Uh, questions, rah, rah, rahs, complaints. And um, yeah, anything else? Probably not. That's all I got. Happy shredding.